Very well then. As there are no obstacles to our marriage, should we then consider ourselves engaged to be wed? I will organize a great feast and we can exchange our vows before all the lords of the realm. If you are willing, that is. I guess I'm willing. Very well. Hopefully a little over a month from now, we shall be wed. Archduke Demetrios. Ooh, we have 100 relation with him. Holy crap, he's got 1,200 renown. He doesn't have any specialist units, but with 1,200 renown, he can field a really large army. Because we have 100 relation with him, I won't worry about giving him a thief yet. And holy crap, we got four more lords over here. Duke Herminius, he's devoted. 581 renown. It looks like he doesn't have any special units either, but we'll take his pledge and we won't give him any thieves yet. Archduke Maximus, another person devoted. 1100 renown. What a beast. And he does have specialist units. Hakan Imperial Knights. They look like pretty beastly cavalry. Duke Severus, 100 relation with him. His specialist troops are freelancer squires. They're only fourth tier mercenary troops. They're basically like low to mid range cavalry. Alexios, we have 100 relation with him. 914 renown. He's got no special units. Great to see you getting leg lost. By the way, if you don't mind my advice, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. You're Charisma increases. Okay. Duke Herminius. By the way, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Your charisma increases. Okay. By the way, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Your charisma increases. By the way, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Your charisma increases. We're at 27 charisma now. And we can get to 9 leadership. By the way, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Your agility increases. Demetrios. <laughs> I wonder how he increased my agility. I thought only the princess could increase my agility. Next person we'll get thieves too is Nerglad. He's an Elentorn lord. And he had the prisoner ranger knight cavalry archers. His renown's not great, but that's all right. So Eric Khan has said he was going to join us and then he's just been sitting down at Quiltaka. He's just living the good life down here with all the jungle ladies. What is Eric is doing down here? He's got 19 arcane defenders, 189 prisoners on this Aurelian war party. Let's try to chase these guys towards him. Thank the heavens for our victory. Yes, the heavens were responsible for this great victory against nine Aurelian units. Holy crap, he's got 358 units now. Tylen got defeated. He's definitely going to lose some DKP off of that one. All right, so we got Gwedlin over here following us. He's got nine Moon Knights and a full party of Elentorn units. That's what I like to see. And we're back at Louvre and Let's see, there are 399 at Leuven. That's not bad. The princess getting mad kills. I gotta get some kills, man. Can't have the princess outdoing me. Ooh, these guys might be asking for it. Holy crap. They're all dead. We got two relations with Silvethiel. And it actually ended up being pretty good because now we get to take 10 more High Elf Sentinels. And the Emperor Zan is here. Okay, Emperor Zan. Oh, and we crashed. All right, well, that was much better. I didn't lose a single unit, and he got away. What we got is Lordly Light Lamlar Coat. Clorania offers you a non-aggression treaty. Yeah, we'll take that. Free right to rule, baby. The Reich offers you a non-aggression treaty. Yeah, we'll take that. More right to rule. I told the mercenary company to patrol around Lighter Castle. He might have gotten killed, though. Elsinore has been besieged by Lord... Oh, God, that's so far away. Oh, it's under battle, dude. They're actually taking it. They have 1,375. I don't think we go into that. That could be devastating. You lost Elsinore. Uh -uh. It's only got 58 units in the garrison though. So we'll take it back and we'll get a bunch of extra units for the garrison. And we should be able to wipe out the Xan once and for all. Lord Sungwo is going down. But we can capture him. He's bad tempered, which is like the worst temperament. So we'll take him prisoner. And Quinn Min is hiding out in Elsinore. Attacking my hometown. It's a weird feeling. One thing's for certain though, I'm glad we're not attacking elves. These guys are a lot less terrifying in a siege than elves. Well, the good thing about the Elsnore is that they don't know where to stand. And we got him prisoner. I want to talk to you about the soldiers you train. I want you to start training the troops of the culture of my kingdom. He is no longer going to be training trash Arulo units, and he will now be training amazing Elentorn units. So I believe my mercenary company got taken out. So we're going to try to hire another one. Order of the Faith is 300k. We'll see that one. Here's the Order of the Faith. It has 36 pounds of the Faith. I don't know what these units are, but we'll find out. Oh, okay. These guys have the best armor in the game. So with this army, I want to say we have around 2,700 units. The Xan have Lesbier, Ford. Hareth Castle and Xanfort. I don't know if we can attack Xanfort. We have a lot of lords here. The Paladin of Faith right here. If you see one of these guys and he's not on your team, run the other way. All right, so Lesbier is ours. Let's move on to Ford. Um, okay, Ford only has 500 units. With the Lord, they have 650. So we took Ford out really easily and then we moved on to Hareth Castle, which only had 150 units. Needless to say, that was a pretty trivial siege as well. Sandfort has 87 Black Warriors, 81 Longbowmen. Oh, their units aren't that good. This is a really easy one. We were just retreated and we only lost five and we took out 300. We officially captured Sandfort. So the Zan have Armana 
and they have Arendal. So we're gonna go over to Arendal. Okay, wow, Arendal has 1130 units. Hopefully it's a ladder attack. It's a ladder attack, very nice. Elsinore has been besieged by Chingish. Well, we're gonna take Arendal first and hopefully we can get back in time. Oh, we can't even back up. We're like stuck right next to them here. Could Tamaris be a lord? It's eight leadership, four and trainer, that's pretty low. Tamaris doesn't have special units, I don't think. Maybe she does though. Okay, so people are saying the wiki's outdated. Let's try her out. We're gonna get Tamaris to nine leadership. We're gonna give her Elsinore. And I'm hoping she has like really cool special units. Elsinore has about 350 units. Lord Yuan is devoted. We could have asked him to join us. Oh, he's Lord of Armana. That's why we couldn't ask him. Okay, we'll take him prisoner. Right, so we took back Elsinore. Armana's the last Xan castle left. Armana has 1k units. We were able to whittle them down slowly but surely looks like the xan are completely wiped out i think we'll give away elsinore and i'll just have four iron and lil for myself i gave tamaris a town and two villages i should probably give her three because she has pretty beastly units that she's got really high leadership and instead i gave sylvethiel a town and three villages she's got a household sunrise riders which are good i think tamaris's units are better though so i gave the princess a town a castle and two villages i think that might have been a little overkill i don't know if you want to give them a town and a castle because they have to pay for the towns and the castle's garrison then i gave demetrios a town and three villages I think he had really high renown. Maximus, I gave him a castle and two villages because he had 1100 renown. Maybe we can let everyone return home for a bit. Let's just meme around a little bit. Who are you, fool? Why have you come to me without kneeling? I would like to join your party as a companion. She's in my party. What the heck is that thing? Okay, yeah, she's level 55, 10 riding. I can't take her mount. I can't even mess with her equipment or anything. But I can't ask her to be a vassal. She's just a companion. All right, here we go. Macan going in. Oh, we got more lords coming, I think. I don't even want to count that. Look at all those lords, though. That's like 15 lords. So their crossbowmen, like their archers, have these axes. They could just cleave, I bet. Holy crap. We just took max prisoners. They still have more. Onwards to Barry Castle. They only had 150 units here. This is a really cool castle, though. Oh, this is such a cool terrain, dude. Is that a frozen lake over there? What if you can walk on it? That'd be sick. Oh, you can. I wonder how the landscapes are going to be in Bannerlord. Queen, huh? She devoted? She has 1600 renown. What the heck? Can I persuade you to join me? Oh, she can't join. Me. Does she have fiefs? She has no fiefs. How do you get your vassals to stay with you? They always leave my campaign. Well, the trick with that is uh, just get like 40 of them and you're good. All right. Jewelry castle is the last one. How many were here? Not that many. We got to take them all out though. This attempt. Oh. Freaking sneaky, man. I don't have any way to kill him. He's like one hit. On top for the video. It was at this moment he knew. Make peace with Macavia? I have to give him 523k to make peace with Macavia and Lesbier? You just spat in my face, basically. I don't give you my healer. But I will try to recruit your other lord who is devoted to me. I persuade you to join. Well, there's one lord down. Oh, this guy's a hunter relation with us. So you join? Yep. I'll accept your pledge, yes. I have something mean to tell you. Your charisma increases. Okay, thank you. We're at 30 charisma now. You can get 10 leadership. We have like 300k and a 4 iron in the treasury. I'm gonna take it all out. Put 10k in. So with Makavia fully obliterated, the next plan of action was to finish off the Valahir clan, who are basically the Nords from Native. Orange had already taken out two of their towns, and so they were on their last leg. One thing had been puzzling me for some time, however. I hadn't been seeing any arcane defenders. The amazing household unit of my top lord. Lord Ericanus. Where's Ericanus? Oh, he's with us. Tolua? He's not in the field at all. He's literally just LARPing with the jungle people. Local minstrel has composed a small song about your deeds. What kind of fool will sing a song about me? I deserve an epic. Bring me his head. I think we'll give him 300 orbs. Yeah, get some renown. Some lords of the Valahir clan fought according to their name, valiantly. But unfortunately for them, they were no match for our elven horde. We quickly overran them and pushed them back into Jewelry Castle. I think I'm gonna auto calc this. See what happens. I've never auto calc a siege before. We lost 33. That was so not worth. Bring bullseye's shield. We then headed over to Hafen Castle and they had a meager 147 garrison. We talked to the lord who was stationed there and he happened to be an Elentorn lord who was devoted to us so we yoinked him right out of the castle. Can hit me. Can hit me. He curved the arrow, dude. How did he get that angle? So we ran to Aethling Ragir on the field and we were able to recruit him. He had a fief as well, so we got that when he defected. That's pretty bad because like usually it's even hard to get them to defect even if they have no fiefs. I have no persuasion, so that's part of the reason why. I actually have zero persuasion. All right, on to Fimble Castle. The valley here at this point were mostly out of lords, but they had these massive near 1k unit parties. Ooh, we ended up completely steamrolling. As at this point, we had about 4k units, many of which being vastly superior to the non-mount 
mounted Valahir Huskarl units. So we ended up finishing off the Valahir clan and our next target is Tolrania who's barely been able to hang on. At the Tolrania horse merchant I found a heavy wyvern. These mounts aren't that good though because they require a 9 riding and no one really has 9 riding. So there's this unique spawn named Queen Aegea who has 500 Ankar units which is quite a lot. It's just not going to be a match for 4k elves. She's got some pretty nice looking armor. Her Ankar units aren't that armored and we have 1274 against 488 and here's our dragon companion. She is looking real nice. One thing I forgot to mention is Tamaris has these Geldar and Silver Widows. She's the only person in the game that can get these units. And they're on the wiki, so I can't see how strong they are. But I'm assuming they're extremely powerful archers. The Dragon Priestess got knocked out, and our allies lost six. If you kill me, the entire nation of Ankars will rise against you. Do it, I dare you. I'll let you live, but I will be needing your treasury. 11,000, that's it. We're going to get more from the loot from killing her than actually killing her. That's one thing I do like about Pendor is the unique mobs actually give you stuff. Whereas in Prisno, 11k is absolutely nothing. I mean, I'm up to 851k and speaking of which we had a bunch of money in fourn iron as well all right guys that's it for this episode in the next episode we're going to declare war against tolrania and then we'll attempt to move on to one of the stronger factions i'll see you guys then peace out